Welcome to the channel. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Life. We come in so many different forms and colours. These colours come from the inside out. Today, we're lost in this perception that we're seen by our outward appearance. And that's a sign that people thinking they were wise become fools. It doesn't matter how much we try and mask ourselves from the outside. The cracks will appear. Who we are comes from the inside out. And only people that are in sin or lost in desire perceive people by how they look. And this is where we run into trouble because we can't mesh with people who we are characteristically opposed to. And it's not until we spend time with somebody that we realize what their values are and if they'll work for us. We can all mask ourselves in all different ways. But that's not going to demonstrate truly who we are underneath. The problem for us that are walking around with masks on is time has a way of making those masks come off. And what masks do, they keep us immature. We're trying to show a representation of ourselves that's not real, in a way. We're proving that we're insecure and desperate Desperate to have possibly the attention that we didn't get when we were young or the over-attention that we got when we were young. And we starve to be recognized. Recognition has many different aspects and applications of it. But recognition, most of all, and it's most powerful when we're honest with ourselves, because the greatest recognition viewers is a true recognition of who we are ourself by ourself. We can get advice and be mentored and told things about ourselves, but at the end of the day, it's going to come down to what we do from the inside out. You see, when we've got ourself right, and you'll see this all the time, when people have got themselves right, like truly right, they're in line with themselves. They're walking in health and their mental health is stable, they're right. They've put time into themselves to understand what might be causing their anxiety and depression and they've taken action to truly resolve those issues. They haven't taken shortcuts. You'll notice that the life around those people reflects who they are on the inside. There's no skeletons in the closet. You see, a skeleton with makeup on it, a skull that's been dressed with makeup, just doesn't look right. And when you think about it, 
all people are doing is masking their true physical appearance to make themselves appear better and it works oh yeah it works when you get it right but that just doesn't change what's going on underneath the bigger picture is what's happening in underneath the exterior and when we come to terms with that that's when we begin to grow when we think of the mind of Christ as Christians and many of you have Christian pedigree and you need to turn back to it to help yourself if we look at what Paul in Philippians chapter 2 said he said in verse 5 you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had though he was God he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to instead he gave up his divine privileges he took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being and when he appeared in human form he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on the cross you see humility is something that helps us to grow whereas pride is something that helps us to fall to become crooked and perverse sometimes we think that we shine brighter than what we really are and that's what happened to Lucifer when he fell God just could not take the pride that was developing inside him so he sent him out everything about us works from the inside out if we want to have salvation for ourselves just in a personal way outside of that given to us through the cross of Christ we can start by solving ourselves looking within and understanding what really needs to happen for us to be resolved you see resolve starts within ourselves. a lot of the reason why we can't resolve things a lot of the reason why we don't confront things is simply because we won't confront ourselves. We're afraid of ourselves. We're afraid of what we might see. You see, a lot of our complaining and arguing and criticism is within ourself against ourselves. It's that voice that pours over us like a liquid telling us, You're no good. You're not worthy. You can't fix that. You can't have this. Here, take this. It's like we're running a race in the wrong direction, a race of vanity and uselessness because we're not resolving ourselves. We all have a right to resolve ourselves. And just like Jesus didn't think of quality of God with God to be anything to cling to because he had his own identity. He knew who he was. And it didn't bother him to humble himself to becoming somebody that was going to be beaten and battered and ripped at and kicked at and spat at to die on the cross for everybody else to undo what the devil did to humankind in the garden but we are Christ we need to remember this we don't have to be beaten and battered and destroyed by the attitudes and recklessness of the people around us We've got a right to have boundaries. Sure, we'll carry our cross. But even that has to be done in order. Otherwise, we'll be walked over as well. And if we allow people to walk over us, then guess what? They'll allow people to walk over them and we all just end up underfoot. There's a cleaner 
more innocent way, a way in which we hold firm to the words of life. We are worthy. We are justified. We do have a Father in Heaven that loves us. We are going to be okay. We're not going to fail in our failings. We're going to rise. And we're going to elevate ourselves within ourselves by confronting ourselves. And if we have to, yes, we'll bow the knee and realize that there's a better way for us that we need to journey into. And as the Bible says, he who loves his life will lose it. But he who hates his life will keep it for everlasting life. The journey starts from within and until that journey is complete, and it may never be, that's when we realize who we are. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Bye for now.